Hey, everybody. Hope you guys are all doing fine. Welcome back to the uh, Might and Magic 7 Completionist Let's Play. Before I get on with the episode, I should just, uh, as a reminder, point out, and I should point this out from time to time, that if you want to look at the full playlist, um, the easiest way would be to just look in the video description and in all of the videos the link to the playlist should be there it's also there at the end screen and it can also be found obviously through the channel but i know like especially if you're watching it on the phone sometimes the navigation isn't always the most uh, the most intuitive so the easiest way would be to just go to the link in the description and that'll just take you straight to the playlist page. And with that out of the way, it's time to get back to our uh, little, uh, well not our little, our long and extremely epic quest to complete this game as thoroughly as we possibly can. And I'll start out with, I, I'll start out by just uh, Addressing briefly the last episode, we got a lot done, but unfortunately it was kind of marred by the fact that right at the very end, when I thought we were going to be getting Master Air Magic, I was instead uh, very rudely reminded by the game of the fact that you can't actually become Master in Air Magic until you get your first promotion. and. The only person we have who is promoted is Zoltan, and he can't learn any magic at all, so that doesn't help us. So that really bummed me out. But we did get a lot done. We got a lot of our spell, uh, our skills to the expert level, and that's going to help us out a lot. And also, I ended up hiring both a Gate Master and a Wind Master. Now, they will give us access to both Fly and uh, Town Portal, but they will only be able to cast it once per day. And as, you know, uh, due to the fact that we've hired them, they're not doing it for free. We have to pay them. In fact, we already paid them a lump sum when we hired them. And they will also take a small percentage of the gold we earned. It also occurred to me, like we're flying right now because I cast fly at the end of last episode that while we have this active and it's going to be active for another hour I should do something I'm going to preemptively cast bless because I want to come to this island here where we've got some water elementals Ow. you know what Oof. It doesn't even... I think I might have... Yeah, okay. I just got a bit of... Just got a bit uh, lost on my keyboard there. We're just gonna kill... Okay, the annoying thing about them is that they can water walk. So they can just... Go out into the ocean willy-nilly and that's not good for us because we can't do that we have fly active but it's not going to be active for much longer and the question for me is do it i even do i bother killing them but i need it fixed i think the answer is going to be we'll just clear out one I, uh, they, uh, this person is off the map, which is really annoying. Because I can't go any further beyond this point. Okay. He killed. How are we supposed to rest here? Okay, this is a. Uh, this has clearly gone horribly wrong. I'm just gonna load my game. We're gonna try something different. Truth be told, we don't need to kill those water elementals at all. So instead, I'm going to try something 
different because what I wanted to do while we had flight active was I wanted wrong chest. I wanted to come to this chest. Look what happened. Okay, Alexis is almost about to go down. I wanted to get this chest. That's it. Preservation. That's it. These both seem like spells we don't have. I wanted to pick this up. This is a golem part. And this is the second golem part that we've found. And as you've probably guessed, these are going to be part of a quest later on. I have no idea. When did we pick that up? Let's leave it behind. Dragon Breath. All right. We'll actually hold on to that. That could be useful to chunk somebody down. I'm just going to give this cure wounds to you because I don't want to risk you going down and we're just gonna we're gonna vamoose we're gonna get out while we are still alive we're gonna come back to the main land area and we're just gonna heal our wounds a little bit but yeah, I just wanted to pick that up while we still had flight active. We're not going to be clearing the map just yet. In fact, I won't be clearing any of the any of the maps until I'm actually able to cast fly myself. Because it's going to be too annoying to you know, ask myself to try and clear this or any map in the like two hour or whatever duration that you get from the Windmaster NPC. I'll, I'll want to be able to fly non-stop if I'm clearing out big map areas. So the reason I've come here is because we uh, have a bit of a dungeon before us, the Hall Under the Hill. Before we go inside the Hall Under the Hill, let's look through our quest log and remind ourselves of a couple quests that we have these quests see we have two quests that involve the fairy king one of them is to just speak to the fairy king i think that was a promotion quest another one is to deliver a letter to the fairy king this letter from johan kerid and the fairy king this has all the makings for adventure can be found in this area I'm just going to cast my spells in fact the fairy king can be found in this spot now this is a weird little uh, thing like where we came into this cave system and it branched off to the left and all of a sudden there's a weird looking mound or hill of some kind so what we're supposed to do is think we have to just keep walking and yep uh, this might be it let me just save my game oh yeah we just had to teleport twice, uh, walking counterclockwise, and we've found the Fairy King. He welcomes us and says that few attain the door, which I'm not entirely sure what that means. I guess that means few people are able to come to this spot. But anyway, we've uh, we've made our way here, so let's talk to him and he tells us that we have now solved the quest to become hunters um, there's a sorry I'm a bit quiet right now because I was expecting there to be another option to give him the letter but maybe this will give him well let's click on this well, before we click on this, I guess I'll make sure I'm not missing anything here. Now, all this is doing is 
letting us know that we've completed the hunter quest and we, we're now hunters. But since we didn't have any hunters in our party, we are all just honorary hunters. Now let's click on this quest. Okay, so he does acknowledge Johan. And I assume he took the letter from us as well. And he gives us some pipes. And in exchange for the pipes, he takes all of our food. Which is an odd thing that happens but I guess that's fine it's not hard to get food in this game and also he says there's some food down below N not sure what he's talking about maybe we'll get a chance to see but yeah for now let's just close this dialogue option and let's take a look at our quests now yes we now have to take the pipes to the same person who gave us the letter, and the letter has been removed from our inventory. So we did indeed complete both of those quests, as well as getting a couple of others. But that's not all there is to this place. No, no, no. We're gonna go down here immediately we have some combat we've got some dragonflies what a scratch. Bring on a we job. remember these guys from emerald island they're not they're not difficult at all i don't even feel the need to cast heroism because i don't think any of them will make it to melee range although that guy just barely made it to melee range only to take 51 damage. We don't even have heroism cast, so that is an indication about how powerful we are. Let me just save my game in a different slot. I'm gonna be... Yeah. One of the two fire dragonflies, that's the high tier of enemy, will drop this key for you. Now I'm gonna put this key here just so I don't confuse it with these barrow keys that I'm still holding on to and uh, you know what I think we can pick some fruit from these trees right we can't I thought we c okay I guess I wasn't clicking specifically on the fruit tree we get an apple and what you can do with apples is you can give them to any of your party members and it'll after they eat it raise the food for your overall party by one. I'm not sure how that works. Maybe they're regurgitating it after eating it. You know what? Let's not let's not dwell on it. Ooh. Let's also see if we can learn these spells. I can't learn that. Oh, rats. I can't learn this. So nobody can learn that. That is going to be useful. But you were able to learn Preservation. Let's see what preservation does. It's a, I think, spirit magic spell. Delaying death. All right, that could be pretty handy. It's the heck out of me. That's it. That's pretty pathetic pair of shoes. That's it. That halberd, not much better. I'm just gonna. Ignore stuff oh, like that. Story. What I'll do now is I'll get... Get another apple from this fruit tree. And now that we have two food, we will be able to rest. We'll be able to rest if we so choose. And as you saw... Our followers are taking a big chunk of our uh, of our gold found, and it's gonna remain like this for Let's leave it behind. the duration, for the entire duration for which we'll have them, which will be That's it. up until we are able to cast fly and 
town portal ourselves. Okay, now let me just get my bearings. I think we might actually be close to finishing this dungeon already. It's not a it's not a long one at all, but there is Sorry, can't help. Sorry, can't help. I don't know what that is. That's it? I'll pick that up because we can sell it for a bit of money. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. This is where we needed to go. So if we have the fairy key, then somewhere here should be a thing we can interact with. Hmm. Hmm. Let me take a look around before I before I give up and consult the walkthrough. And I'm looking at the walls. I'm not seeing anything. Trying to not go too quickly in case I miss something. Take one last circuit. I think at this point we're probably too far. Okay, let's take another look at the center. Maybe we've got to interact with this tree. No, that's not it. Let's take a look at these pillars. Nothing on any of these. Okay, I'm stumped. What am I looking for? Okay, so apparently I've got to click on a tile somewhere here to reveal a keyhole. Aha, okay. That was very hard to see. That was very hard to see. And now clicking on this keyhole will cause this staircase to rise up and this door to open. And inside this door will we get some annoying stairs that are blocking our shots. But we also get a couple more dragonflies to kill and sadly all we have inside is a well that doesn't seem like it does anything. Let's leave it behind. A wooden shield that I don't really care about. A club, which is garbage. It's disarmed. And a chest with more garbage inside and a bit of gold in the ground. I guess I'll pick up this cure wounds potion because it's not it's not a bad idea to keep a few of those lying around so you don't have to rely on casting heal yourself. So yeah now we're done with this area it's fully clear and all but certain that there aren't any other quests that will lead us back here. Well, except for the Johan Carrot quest. We might have to come back here after dropping off the pipes. But apart from that, I think we're basically done. Let's just make sure there's nothing to do with any of these. I don't think there is, but might as well just be sure. Let's make our way back. And we've all, yeah. It should be obvious, but we've also killed every single thing by virtue of the fact that we've walked pretty much everywhere here. And after killing those last few dragonflies, this place was just a green through and through just to be because we got teleported there just to 
give further proof. We've walked back here. I don't want to start teleporting back to that spot again, because that would just waste time. But that was just to show you that there wasn't any enemy in these parts. So this... This place is clear. So now we can leave the hall under the hill. It's night now. Let's take a look at our party. What sort of levels can we gain? We can go from 14 to 15, and we're not far from 16. Right, so we're actually done with Avli for now. We're not done with this entire map because we need to come back and we need to clear all the enemies. We also need to come back and uh, go into two other dungeons, which I'm not going to spoil what either of them are right now, but there's a lot more to do, but for now we're done and we're going to go into some uh, other areas. Sorry, I'm a Okay, yeah, this is the guy I was looking for, Stegall Snick, who has a quest for us. He will promote archers to warrior mages, that is the basic archer, to the next upgrade. And uh, none, of, none of us are archers, but we will be honorary warrior mages by virtue of completing it, just like, you know, none of us were... Uh, rangers but we became honorary hunters by speaking to the fairy king but let's see what mr snick has for us there's a small white scar at the base of his throat man you should uh well i guess if it, <laughs> i guess if it's a scar it's probably healed up i was gonna say you should maybe see a doctor about that but might not be a good idea to see a doctor anyway, just make sure there isn't any infection going on. Anyway, let's talk to him, let's see what he has for us. Okay, this is a big wall of text. Let's see if we can maybe skim through it and summarize what he wants. Apparently he's having trouble breathing? Yeah, you should definitely <laughs> see someone about that. So. To become a warrior mage, you must be equally proficient in both magical skills and physical skills. That makes sense. There's a test for it. So far, so good. Go to the Red Dwarf Mines. Not bad. We already have to go there for something else. Inside, you'll find two kinds of beasts. One that can be harmed only with magic. One only with steel. In the back the lower sections, you'll find a machine created by the dwarves that powers the lift, the only access between the two sections. To keep the creatures trapped in the lower section, you'll have to replace the belt with this belt that'll eventually break. Huh, so I mean... It's kind of, kind of sketchy. We're essentially being asked to sabotage a mine, but I guess it's for a good cause because we were also told that there were uh, dangerous creatures in the mine. I, I, I don't know, is he talking about the Medusas? But in any event, it's being hinted at that there's going to be some physical immune enemies and also some magic immune enemies that is to say if he is to be believed there will be some enemies that we can only damage by casting spells at him spells at them and some other enemies that we can only cast by just bashing them until they die so i guess all things considered that's a pretty appropriate test to see if somebody is ready to become a warrior mage. What else are we gonna do for now? 
honestly... Honestly, I think we're done. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and find the tavern, the potted pixie. We're gonna... Welcome, travelers. Get some proper food. 20. Now that sounds pretty good. Our meals are second to none. And... I think we're just gonna call this episode, uh... Call this episode to a close. Yeah, it's a nice... Nice short one. We made a bit of progress. We actually completed a couple different quests. Let's see if we can see them in our uh, quest log. Um, one of them was the promotion to honorary hunter. There was also the quest about... Uh, uh, what's his name? Carid. Johan Kerrid's letter. I guess that didn't really show up. But we've nonetheless completed that and we got our reward for it and we've got a further quest to do. Maybe the entry will come into our quest log after we deal with this pipe situation and just fully close out this quest line. In any event, let's not worry about it too much. Let's just... No, let me just put my horseshoes... Ugh. Man, like... I'm sorry, it's, it's bothering me that your inventory is this... You know what? Let's give the horseshoes to uh, Roderick because I think that's gonna make things a bit neater I wouldn't want to accidentally use a horseshoe if you know while I'm moving stuff around in your inventory and then we can move things like this and now they're neatly arranged by the way the way I was able to move them so quickly is well there are two ways to move things between characters one is you click on it to pick the item up and then you click on another a character to drop the item into their inventory. Another thing you can do is so you can cycle quickly between characters by using the one, two, three, or four number keys. Another thing you can do is if you pick up an item and then you press one, two, three, or four, it'll drop the item in that character's inventory. So you are number one. If I press number one, it'll just drop it back in your inventory. But if I then press number two, it will drop this horseshoe in your inventory. In, in your inventory. Your meaning Roderick's inventory. So that's a little trick that you can employ just to speed things up a little bit when you're doing some inventory management. Like you don't have to manually move everything around. And this is going to save you some time. So anyway, with that impromptu little tutorial out of the way. Let me just save the game again. Yeah, and I think we are going to draw this video to a close. When we come back, uh, we will make our way towards Ricada, but there are a few little things we'll have to do before we get there. When we go back to the Tolarian Forest, we'll have to deposit this quest. I'll also maybe do some training, see if we can get some more skills upgraded. But the next main destination is going to be Brocada because we've got a main quest objective that's pointing us there. Uh, that is, of course, this quest to rescue the red, the dwarves from the red dwarf mines. And, of course, there's a... Uh, promotion quest that's also pointing us to that same location. So we've got two reasons to go there. And in Brocada in general, we will have a lot to do. There are a bunch of trainers there. There are some promotion quests that will originate there and lots of people to talk to. Huge open map, lots of monsters to kill, treasure to find, the usual. So that is what is next on the agenda for this let's play. But yeah, that long-winded 
outro out of the way, I'll thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you'll join me for the next one. So, uh, until then, take care.